Hi guys, welcome to this very special video presentation from slotmachinedepot.co.uk and what you see beside me is a machine you don't come across that often. It's known as a multi-bell. It's made by Kaylee, although we'll give you the background history of why that's not strictly true in just a moment. But it is a unique machine in terms of its playability. What you'll notice on here is the fact it has seven slots at the top here, which means that as a player, you could play up to seven coins at a time. Or if there was a group of you playing, then a group of people could play as well. I'm gonna go through this machine and its playability in just a moment, but do check out the video made by the Coin Op Preservation Society They've done a great video of how this beautiful machine actually works. And I'll put the link in the description below the video. But I'm just going to go through its playability and how you actually play it. Now one thing about this particular machine, the AC Novelty is the company that made this. Uh, there it is there, I can just show you. The AC Novelty company based in Detroit. One thing to note is this is a bit strange because of course it uses uh, the standard size reels that you find in most bell machines, but this one has 21 symbols on each of the three reels. So there's 21 symbols on there. However, the middle one only stops 14 times. These were made for just two years by the AC Novelty Company, uh, 1936 to 1938. If we have a look at the top here, you have the seven coin escalator, which is fantastic. The seven slots at the top there, the three reels, and a jackpot down the bottom. This particular machine plays on the American five cent coinage and you put a coin in, in which of these symbols you want to gamble on. And let's give an example, we've got the classic bell there, which is a number two, and maybe a lemon. Now that's a bit strange because lemons were always considered to be losers. You could actually win on lemons on this. So I'm going to put it in these two slots, the two and the three. Now when I play this, what I'm looking for is just the first reel. I'm not interested in the other two reels. And this is maybe one of the reasons why it flopped because of the confusion of that. But I'm just interested in either getting a two or a three on this first reel. So basically, I need a lemon or a bell to end up on there to get a winner. Now you can see I've got a strawberry the number one so I don't win. But let me tell you what would have happened if I got a bell or a lemon then I will definitely get a win. Now how does the win pay out? Well it's determined by reel number three. Now on the third reel there's loads of symbols and there's numbers. Now those numbers denote how many coins it's going to pay out. Now this is what made it interesting because I could get a bell and get two coins. Another time I could get a bell and get 10 coins or even 20 coins. It was a variable payout. And that's what made the exciting thing about this or what they believed would be exciting in the gameplay. Unfortunately, by the time this came out, the slots, the standard three real slots have been around for a long time and people were used to those getting three symbols in a row. So where does the middle reel come in? Well, the middle reel is only playable when you want to win the jackpot. So say I put the coin in the bell and I get a bell on the first reel. That tells me I'm going to get a winner. What if I get a bell on the third reel? That tells me how many coins I'm going to get. However, if I do happen to get a bell in the middle reel, so I get a row of three bells, I get a jackpot and this whole jackpot tips out. And that's another fascinating feature there. But it all tips out. So that's how the gameplay works. What made this a great selling point for AC Novelty was the fact that on most 
uh, bell machines, you had just one jackpot. Get three bars or three melons, you got a jackpot. This one's got seven. It pays out up to seven different jackpots if you get any of the symbols three in a row. So I'm going to play it a few more times just so you can get a feel for it. So on this time, I could put one in four, five, and six. Unfortunately, I don't win on there. Let's have a few more plays. Now, of course, what we could do to guarantee a win is to put a coin in every single slot. That's seven coins played. Seven coins. We pull the handle. We're going to get a winner. We can tell by whatever ends up on the first reel, but the third reel will tell us how many coins it's going to pay out. Twenty coins. You can see that the third reel has the cherry on and it's got a 20 on there and it paid out exactly 20 coins because I matched the first one. Now, you can play a single coin. Now, let's look at a couple of things that maybe caused this machine to not be as successful as they had hoped. Well, the first thing is the introduction of additional symbols. Now, the symbols that they used, people weren't familiar with. We was all familiar with bell, lemon, orange, and cherries. But this one introduced strawberries, apricots, pineapple, pears, apples. So you had a whole array of symbols that most people weren't familiar with. But if this was the first time I was playing this, one of the things I found is that the instruction card on the front, even when I read it today, makes absolutely no sense to me. So I can imagine what it was like back in the day when this came out, it was a new machine, people were looking at it, if you read that, you didn't really get to grips as to what it was going to do or pay out. And it got quite confusing for people. The other major flaw I, I thought that they made was the fact that they used the word odds. Now, unless you're a gambling person that uh, bets on horses and dogs, you know all about odds. And I always believe it's that word, the odds, because over here they have um, odds paid. I think it would have been better if they had just put amount of coins paid. That would have made it obvious to the new player. The mechanism is outstanding. If you're a collector, I think you do need to get one of these just to have in your collection. I know a lot of people think they look kind of the ugly duckling of slot machines. And although it's not my favorite looking machine, mechanically it's fantastic. 